cyclonic storm Hamoun has intensified into a severe cyclonic storm. BMD asked all ports to hoist danger signal number 7. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Belgium at the invitation of European Commission President. Vijaya Dashami of Shadudio Durga Puja today will end with the sacrifice of idol of Devi Durga. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashikul Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines. Now, the details. The deep depression over the Bay of Bengal intensified into a cyclonic storm Hamoon. Bangladesh Meteorological Department today asked Chartogram and Paira ports to lower warning signal number 4 and requested to hoist danger signal number 7 instead. I repeat, danger signal number 7. Additionally, Cox's Bazar port has been asked to hoist danger signal number 7. I repeat, danger signal number 6. Cyclonic storm Hamoon has intensified into a severe cyclonic storm over the northwest bay and adjoining west central bay and moved northeastwards on Tuesday. It lies about 445 km west southwest of Chartogram port, 410 km west southwest of Cox's Bazar port, 325 km southwest of Mongla port, and 310 km southwest of Paira port. It is likely to move north northeastwards and may cross the Borishal Chartogram coast near Vola by Wednesday morning to noon as a cyclonic storm. The maximum sustained wind speed within 64 km of the storm center is about 9 km per hour, rising to 110 in Gaster School. The sea will remain high near the severe cyclonic center. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Belgium today at the invitation of European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. She will attend the Global Gateway Forum to be held on October 25th to 26th in Brussels, the capital of Belgium. A Biman Bangladesh Airlines flight carrying the Prime Minister and her entourage left. Dhaka's Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport at 11 a.m. During the visit, the Prime Minister will hold bilateral meetings with EC Executive Vice President and European Trade Commission uh, Vladis and EC President Irujula von der Leyen. After the meeting, a loan support agreement of 350 million euros in a renewable energy sector is expected to be signed between Economic Relations Department of Bangladesh Government and European Investment Bank. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alumgir has commented that Awami League is creating unrest in the name of peace rally. He said BNP has embarked on the liberation struggle. He said these things at a press conference at the party's chairperson's political office in Gulshan in the morning, stating that the other parties will be in the field to realize one point demand. The BNP Secretary General said that whatever Awami League does, it will not be able to hold back the victory of the people. The Election Commission will hold the election on November 26 in the by-elections of Potuakhali 1 seat. After the Commission meeting in the election building in the morning, EC Secretary Mohammad Jahangir Alam said that polling will be held through ballot paper in the seat. Potuakhali Deputy Commissioner will perform the duty of returning officer in the by-election. The EC Secretary said the Election Commission will not have any problem in announcing the schedule of the 12th National Parliament election by mid-November. Bijoya Dashomi of Sharodiyo Durga Chop is today. The ceremony of Sharodiyo Durga Puja, the biggest religious festival of Shonatan Dharma followers, will end today with the sacrifice of idols. Dashomi is celebrated by worshipping goddess Durga's Vijaya Dashomi Vihit Puja from morning. Sindur game was also held. There is a mixed feeling of emotion and sadness on this day among the traditionalists. When the 10th comes, they feel the fear of mother's return and have to wait for another year. <laughs> I'm going to go to the next one.
After the horrific train accident in Kishorgon's void up, train movement has returned to normalcy. However, since the Egaro Shindhu train from Dhaka to Kishorgon's did not leave at night, the authorities cancelled the morning journey of the train from Kishorgon's to Dhaka. The accident took place between Egaro Shindhu and Chottogram bound freight train in Jagunathpur area around 3.30 p.m. on Monday. 17 people were killed in this accident. The dead bodies of 16 people have been handed over. One could not be identified. Besides the injured are treated at Dhaka Medical and Paralympic Hospital. Now international news. Israel continues to attack the beastiest Gaza Strip. In the meantime, at least 53 Palestinians were killed in infamous strikes by the Israeli Air Force in the early hours of the morning. Among the dead are children. Besides, many more Palestinians were injured in the attack. At least 53 Palestinians were killed and many others injured in the Israeli airstrikes in the residential area of Khan Yunis and Rafa areas in the southern Gaza Strip. Israeli warplanes hit several residential buildings and a fuel station in Khan Yunis. Thirteen police officers shot dead in Mexico. The incident took place in Guerrero province of southern Mexico on Monday. The policemen were engaged in regular patrolling at the time. It is reported that the security chief of a local town is among the dead. The gunmen abused and shot dead the police officers, mainly while on anti-narcotics patrol. Among the dead was the local security chief of the city. The city is located west of the popular beach resort of Acapulco. In a statement, provincial officials said security would be beefed up by sending Navy personnel and National Guard agents to the area. We're about to the end the headlines once again. Cyclonic storm Hamoon has intensified into a severe cyclonic storm. BMD asked all ports to hoist danger signal number 7. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is on her way to Belgium at the invitation of European Commission President. Vijaya Dashami of Sharudiyo Durga Puja today will end with the sacrifice of idols of Devi Durga. Israel continues to attack the besieged Gaza Strip. 53 Palestinians were killed. Tottenham Hotspur beat Pulham 2-0. Al-Hilal beat Mumbai City 6-0. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old programs, please go to the YouTube slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.